Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Last time we fought Roxas in the beginning of the world that never was, got a super cool new Keyblade, unlocked the final drive form, final form, and we have now opened the way to the Nobody's Fortress. Now I said I was going to enter there this episode, and I definitely will. But before I do that, I kind of want to start leveling up my drive form, specifically final form. And there's one really great place to level up final form in Twilight Town. I'm going to appear at Central Station. And hopefully the train will be here, yes. And we can go back to Yen Sid's tower. I'm also going to make sure I have the Oath Keeper Keyblade equipped so I can stay in final form for longer. We're off to the tower. Oh look, there's a mushroom here. Heck no, that is the worst mushroom challenge in the whole game. I am not looking forward to having to do that when I, in the bonus videos. There are also some puzzle pieces we can get here. Oh wait, did I touch that save point? I doubt it. There we go. Also, the one nice thing about Final Form that I did not mention last time. Not only is it the one drive form that you cannot enter anti-form in when you use it, but it also will, when you use it, it reduces the chances of you entering anti-form on future drive forms. So if you're at a point where you seem to just always be entering anti-form, use Final Form a few times. And, as you can see, we have got the nobodies now spawning in here. Also, I'm going to change my customization so instead of Magnera, it is Fyraga. Yeah, look at that. The Fyraga just wiped out like all of them. One Fyraga. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Ooh, dense gems. Ouch. Hey there, Dragoons. Ouch. I do not want to waste all five of my drive forms, so let's try to get back to that save point as soon as possible. And here I'm just gonna kind of go on the stairs and kill some nobody so I can level up final form. There we go. Level it up already. We get auto final, and now I can stay in final form for longer. Also, I don't think I mentioned before, but the auto drive form abilities, the reaction command for that will only appear when you are low on HP. So it's not just going to be a perma thing like, oh, no matter where you go, it's going to be like enter valor form. No, it's only when you're very low on HP. So it's like a safety measure, kind of. Where did Yen Sid go? I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> What's in my wardrobe, Sora? A sunset puzzle piece that will help you on your quest. Wow! Thanks, Yen Sid! You're welcome. <laughs> Anyhow, if we're at the top of the stairs, we get more powerful nobodies, like the berserkers appearing. That's not good. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, why would it not let me use Reflect? These guys are powerful enough that you need two Final Form Pyrogas to defeat them. But they drop Dense Crystals! Sweet! Final form, and I unlocked Glide Level 1 for regular Sora. Uh oh, I better. And I got Glide Level 2 for Final Form. That's kind of what I was looking for. Remember when we had like 40 AP boosts, and I'm like, no, I'm saving, I'm not gonna use them on Donald the Goop, even though Sora has plenty of AP. This is why. Glide Level 1. New. Glide might be my favorite of all the growth abilities. Ooh, yes! 
Sora finally got second chance. That is a good ability. Ouch. I hate Berserkers. Fact. Second chance. How much does that take? It's four. I'm gonna unequip Defender, give him one AP boost, and boom, you die. Oh yeah, and I have the power boost. Heck yeah, I'm using that on Sora. <laughs> Don't you want to use it on Donald? No. <laughs> Alright, well, I've leveled up Final Form twice, so I don't want to take up the entire video of just grinding dry forms. However, I do think I will grind up Wisdom Form a little bit here, because I believe the shadows will still spawn like crazy over here. Yep. This is where I'm gonna- I'm gonna max out Wisdom Form here, at the very least, because after we enter the Nobody's Fortress, the shadows here will no longer spawn, and instead it'll be Nobody's. Which is useful for Final Form, but that makes Wisdom Form trickier level up. I'm pulling more magic for me! There we go! Wisdom Form is now max level, so I have Quick Run Max. Look how far we can dash with Quick Run, holy cow. Ooh. You know, since I can cut out basically all of it, I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna try maxing out at least Valor or Limit and Master Form. Maybe I'll try maxing out Final Form as well. Don't worry, it's not gonna take away from the length of the video. So I'll just see you guys when I've leveled them up. Give me strength. Back off. There we go. Maxed out Limit Form, so we have max level Dodge Roll. Which is now our best evasive option because it gives like max invincibility frames. Woo! Take this. There we go. Maxed out Valor Form, so we now have High Jump Max. Also, Max Level Drive Forms give you 9 Drive Gauges while you're in them, which is awesome. Now that I have Glide, I should be able to get these puzzle pieces in here. As well as the Max High Jump and Aerial Dodge. Well, actually, I don't have Max Aerial Dodge yet, but... Uh, Daylight Puzzle Piece. Excellent. A lot of these puzzle pieces you can't... Wow, okay, no, I need a higher level glide to get that one. Alright. Yeah. Ooh, more strength for Sora. Nice. And a frontier puzzle piece. Nice. There we go. Max level wisdom... Wisdom form. Last not... <laughs> Max level master form. Max level aerial dodge. Whoosh! Alright. Another level up for final form, and we get the form boost ability. Which is the ability that is granted to us by uh, the Oathkeeper Keyblade. So that lets us stay in dry forms for even longer, which is going to be awesome. Uh, but I'm running out of AP. Uh, I don't want to unequip any of these. I'll, 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 un I'll unequip Aerial Dive. Oh, that's still not enough. I need one more. I don't use Upper Slash at all, so I'll unequip that. Form boost is very important, though. Especially when you're grinding drive forms. Oh. Don't run out of drive. Don't run out of drive. Don't run out of drive. Out of drive. Hit the save point before you run out of drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Donald, I got it. And the best part about grinding up Final Form using Fyraga is nobody's always drop MP orbs. Gather. So you, like, won't run out of magic. Ooh, and I got the Nobody Lance. That's a rare drop from Dragoons. That's a weapon for Donald, although I doubt it's going to be better than his Shaman's Relic. 
Oh, hey, Sora got more AP! <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh no, I ran out! <laughs> oh, crud. Anyhow, Donald has now the Nobody Lance. Okay, that gives him one extra strength, but it gives him the item boost ability rather than Blizzard boost. Blizzard boost is much better for Donald, because <laughs> I don't trust Donald with items. You should! I use items really well! <laughs> no, you don't. Well, if you need to recover Drive, what you want to do is go into MP Recharge, and then you crap out of some enemies. When you're in MP Recharge, your Drive Gauge will recover faster. As you can see, unfortunately we need a whopping 5 Drive Gauges to enter Final Form. More magic to Sora. Alright, now we get Glide Level 2. Sweet. Also, one thing I don't think I mentioned, one of the reasons why Final Form Fyraga is so good, not only does it deal a ton of damage when you have two fire boosts, I have one fire boost from just regular abilities and one from the Bond of Flame Keyblade, so it racks up tons of damage, but not only does the fire hit the enemies, but the Keyblades you're swinging also hit the enemies, which uh, racks up even more damage. On top of that, Final Form Fyraga does not add to enemies' revenge values, so you can basically use it the right way on bosses to just damage them infinitely and they can't break out of your combo. We're going to be seeing that for some of the bonus bosses. Anyhow, I have not maxed out Final Form, but I've gotten it to a very high level, and I've maxed out all my other Drive Forms, so we're finally going to start the episode for real now. <laughs> Thank you, Glide Level 2. Alright, I'm going to equip Decisive Pumpkin as my main Keyblade, and the rest all look pretty good. Alright, now we can start the episode for real. After, uh, we hand over all the stuff to the Moogle Shop, that is. We get a Serenity Gem for completing the collection, and Twilight Shards can now be purchased at the shops for completing the collection. I have so many Twilight Shards now because I grinded on so many. Anyhow, ESCPs, nothing there, free development, still can't make a Mythful Shard. I don't have any Dance Shards. Alright, well, whatever. Kyrie, where are you? Shh, remember where we are. This is their stronghold. They know we're here. <laughs> Be careful. I think we got company. <laughs> That's a weird girly walk. Namine. There you are. Namine? Kairi, I'm afraid leaving is not an option. I'll take you to see Sora. You don't want that? I do. More than anything. But not with you around. If I had a heart, this would be where I'd die of laughter. You. Didn't Roxas take care of you? You can take it from here, Riku. Riku? Get him right here. Oh, I guess he didn't care. Wait! Woo, woo. That's how we know he's a good guy, because Poodle likes him. Riku, you really here? What? <laughs> That's handsome. What the heck is going on? Yeah, this is... <laughs> I, I feel like every episode I'm like, this is where the plot gets really off the rails, but this is where the plot gets really off the rails. Oh hey, that is a new type of nobody. I believe they're called the Summoners. 
They are very annoying, because those blocks, they get arranged in a certain pattern that can just make shields and hurt you. It sucks. Also, if memory serves, I believe that is the nobody of Zexian, who we actually never fought. We can fight him in Reed Chain of Memories, but Axel killed him in regular Chain of Memories. Back off. They drop Twilight Crystal. Oh, hey! We want that Mithril Gem. <laughs> Crooked Ascension. All of the names of the rooms in the world are really cool. Take this. Thank you, Donald. This is it. <laughs> we just took a nice uh, elevator lift up. Oh yeah, I also want to set Eifers back to a shortcut. Please and thank you. A sunset puzzle piece? Oh boy. Twilight's View. Man, this place is awesome, isn't it? Wow, this place looked big from outside, but the inside looks even bigger. If this is going to be our last battle, let's show them what we're made of. Amen, Donald. In this chest we get, the Cosmic Belt has the greatest defense. Well, Hot Dog Pluto, I think we should equip that instead of the Fire Gun Bangle. Yeah, six defense, yeah, come to me. Especially since I don't think any enemies here actually have the fire element. Golly, I feel darkness around us, but we haven't seen any members of Organization 13. But you know, they always show up out of nowhere, so let's be ready. And for this upcoming boss fight, I think I'm going to re-equip the Hero's Crest Keyblade. I'm going to put Photon Debugger on Master Form, because Master Form Fundaga is amazing. I want Hero's Crest because the upcoming boss fight, uh, you basically can't do ground combos on. So I do believe that the air combo boost we get from Hero's Crest will be better here. We get a magic boost for completing the collection, well that's great. I think we should use that magic boost right now. Here we go, the Hall of Empty Memory Melodies. Sora, you've done well. Where's Kyrie? Who knows? I expect she's catching up with her friend from the darkness. What do you mean? She doesn't need you anymore. I'm supposed to believe that? Well, you don't have to. But you can believe this. Organization 13 has no further use for you. Just look there. Our kingdom hearts. Thanks to you, we've collected countless hearts. Can you hear their euphoria? Nope. Now all they need is one more helping from the Keyblade Bearer. Oh boy. We did it, friends! But Kingdom Hearts. Sora! Sora, it's really you! Kyrie! Huh? You leave Sora alone! Dang, Kyrie! That's quite a jump. Oh, wait, I don't have a weapon. Sora! Take it. <laughs> Where did you get that? I'll fight. You know Sora's completely hopeless without us. Come on, Riku. So now Kairi has a Keyblade for literally no discernible reason. And Riku kind of sort of has one. Well, well. Will the intrusions never end? <laughs> what are you two doing here? Pete, I've kicked your butt like six times. Why, Pete? This castle is perfect. Perhaps
Perhaps we should uh, acquire it. Well, the setup is kind of nice, I guess. But what about all the heartless? Well, this in-between world, it, it's way too close to the darkness. They ain't gonna listen to us here. Once again, you underestimate me. I do like Maleficent as a villain. She's great. Yeah, it's like uh, the first game. There's only one Keyblade Master. No, there are three. It's what? <laughs> Why? Who cares? It's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's Mickey. But he got like the dark counterpart to the human key. So that's why. So Riku looks like handsome now for some reason. It's Diz. It's been a long time since we've seen him. It's been too long, my friend. Ansem the Wise? Why didn't you come to me before things got so bad? Xemnas, the organization superior, is the nobody of Xehanort, my foremost apprentice. The burden was mine to bear. Is that all? I won't deny there was more. I was obsessed with thoughts of revenge. My apprentices stole everything precious to me. My research and my pride. I can't help you with revenge. I know. Riku's told me a thousand times. Where is he? He must be with his friends by now. Riku was a great help to me. I found him wandering the darkness after you and he lost track of each other. Gosh, we didn't lose each other exactly. Riku left, well, because Xehanort's Heartless was still inside his heart, troubling him. And he sure must have been suffering. But what I don't understand is why he looks like that now, when he's still Riku at heart. I am to blame. When I met Riku the first time, he still had the appearance of a boy. Probably because he had such a strong heart. I asked him to find a young man named Roxas from Organization 13 and bring him to me. When I told him it would help Sora awaken from his slumber, Riku left without a word. He fought Roxas, and I can only surmise Riku lost that fight. Riku must have realized then to fight in the realm of darkness, he would have to immerse himself in that same darkness. And when he did, you saw what became of him. When Riku brought Roxas back to me, he was introducing himself as Ansem. If that was what it took to awaken his friend, he was ready to live in darkness. Riku was the victim of my revenge. How my heart ached. I could only laugh to hide my shame. I guess it must have been after that when I saw Riku again. He said he wanted to help Sora, but he made me promise. Promise that Sora wouldn't ever find out about what happened to him while he was out in the darkness. My friend, the time has come. I must make amends to these young people. That's an interesting looking device. I like that twist where Ansem the Wise was actually Diz. I don't really like the twist of like, Riku now looks like Ansem for uh, some reason. Get off! Come on, Sora, the, sh the Shadow Heartless are so easy. We fought like 12,000 of them. What's I going on? Didn't I kill that guy in the first game? Thanks, 
dude. Have you been a good boy? Show yourself. I've been the best boy. Oh, it sounds like you haven't. Sora, Roxas. Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? That's been happening a lot in this shit. You really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Oh yeah. Here he comes! Time for the next Organization 14 member, Zigbar. Really shouldn't have betrayed us. His weapon are twin crossbow guns, and his element is space. So he's gonna start the fight by opening up with this attack. You wanna dodge them and wait for the warp snipe ability, a reaction command, and then spam that, and we'll knock him down. Clever little sneak. So now he basically is just gonna teleport around and shoot us, and he's gonna be floating in the air. Occasionally he'll have to reload, and then we can wail away on him. You can also block his attacks. He, and yeah, his element of space can uh, change the terrain on. Take that. Ouch. Yeah, we can block his uh, projectiles and reflect them back at him. Yeah. Yeah. R, reload. That's when he has to reload. Yeah. Let's use Duck Flare against this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, Zigbar can shoot out these giant ricocheting bullets that we can use the warp snipe ability on. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't even get to use the finisher on him. It sucks. Yeah, that blue bullet around I'm gonna use warp snipe for. To keep hitting it back in. And this is where it helps to have the high level growth abilities. Zigbar's a pretty tough fight, because he just keeps warping away from you. I wanted I want him to do his desperation move though. Come on, use it. I wanna show it off. Yeah, with his space ability, he can, like, shoot into portals and then make the portals appear next to us. No, wait, but it wouldn't let me heal. And he, wow, he was just not using his desperation move. All right, you know what? Forget you, Zigbar. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. The only reason you didn't die is because I wanted to show off your desperation move, which is one of my favorite desperation moves in the game. Break! Warp Snipe! Yeah! Take that. Clever little sneak! How do you like Final Form? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Final Form is just wrecking him. Here we go, this is his desperation move. He's gonna warp around and shoot a bunch of times. Then he's gonna warp in the center. Let's see how you dance. And now we gotta run in a pretty precise way just in a circle around him and avoid all these crazy bullets. One of my favorite ones. Also, I freaking love this music. Yeah. This is the 13th dilemma. Oh, you're doing this again? Yeah. 
I love this fight. Oh, Donald's alive. Doc Flair! Come on, where did he go? Did he... Oh my gosh, she warped her way to avoid Doc Flair. Oh, because he's using his desperation Oh, great. I danced pretty well, Zingbar. There we go. That guy's one of my favorite fights. He's a big challenge, but he's also a good challenge. Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, hold on! Uh-oh, they need our help. Sora and Rico are together. We have no part to play here. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Riku chose that form so he could use the power of darkness. It won't be easy. After all that time we went for Chain of Memories and Riku's story to fight Ansem, Kyrie, that still happened. we're on our way. Now we get Secret Ansem Report number three, because that is very, very important. All right, we're gonna put Decisive Pumpkin back on. And we're putting Hero's Crest back on for Master Form. What was going on? Ansem was fighting alongside Kairi. Anyway, Kairi's under attack. We have to go help her. It doesn't look like we can get to Kairi directly from here. I know you're in a hurry, but we need to take that path over there. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the save point, because that's all the time we have for this video, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Colorful RD, tune in next time. We'll be dealing with potentially the last members of Organization 13 all in one video. It depends on how many cutscenes there are, I don't remember how many cutscenes there are. Anyhow, look forward to that next time until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.